wonderful world of Disney. And now, tonight's program from the wonderful world of Disney, The Whiz Kid and the Mystery at Riverton. Staffy. Think it'll work? Of course. Can I watch? If you help roll up the papers. It's a different way to fold them than the way I used to. Sure. Boy, Alvin, I bet nobody in the whole world can invent things as good as you can. Well, this invention was kind of easy to figure out. Still, they don't call you the magnificent brain for nothing. I think you better come inside and have your orange juice. Okay, Mom. Thank <laughs> you. 
wish I could think up stuff like you do. Inventing's not so hard, Chewy. You just gotta set your mind to it. Even that sounds hard to me, especially at 8 o'clock in the morning. You're kidding, is it that late? Oh, no. Here we go again. This will be the third time this week. <laughs> have everyone write on different subjects. I have chosen one basic theme for all of you. Alvin, Wilfred, you're late again. Now, the theme for the essay contest will be the betterment of city government. And I think it might be good if we concentrated our thoughts on how we might improve our own city government right here in Riverton. And now, for the benefit of our uh, latecomers, I will repeat that as a special civics project, we're having an essay contest. And our own Mayor Massey is going to judge the essays and present the prizes. Yes, Wilfred? Would you repeat the prizes too, Miss Pinckney? I hadn't announced the prizes yet. But the winner will take office as Mayor of Riverton for one whole day. Wow, wow. And as an added incentive, the four runners-up will also fill official positions at City Hall for the day. <laughs> now, the essays will be due at the end of class on Monday. Could you get your social science books out, please? Mayor Alvin Fernald. Has kind of a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Kind of. That's how I'm going to do it. Do what? Win that contest. Mira's going to be the judge, isn't he? Yeah. What if I write in my essay the same things he's going to use in his campaign? How are you going to do that? Dad says all you got to do is get the mayor started on his campaign. Then you can't stop him from talking about it. Alvin, is that fair? Just about anything's fair in politics, Shuey. Come on. Where are we going? To see the mayor. Oh, may I help you? I was wondering if we could see the mayor. Uh, do you have an appointment? No, ma'am. May I ask what this is regarding? It's a personal matter. Oh, I see. Personal. Well... I... Yes, Mayor Massey? Would you step in here a moment, Mrs. Blake? I have some dictation for you. Yes, sir. If you'll wait here, I'll ask the mayor if he can see you. It may be a while. That's okay. We can wait. Oh, I never saw nothing like this before. It's the intercom system, Shuey, so the mayor can talk to anybody in City Hall he wants to. All he's got to do is push the button of the office he wants to talk to. I'll show you how it works. Number six goes to the fire department. Etc., etc. Oh, and Miss Mann, be sure a copy of that goes to the Firemen's Relief Association. And also a copy and number two goes to the police department. Sir, but of words, we don't have a man available to get the cat off your roof. I suggest you call the fire department. And number three goes to the city treasurer. This little old swindle we've pulled off since that job in Fort Worth. And with over $150,000 on the line, the pay is a lot better, too. I think you two better get out of here now. Well, Mr. Benson, Mr. Rieger, I'll speak to the mayor about it. If your bid seems reasonable enough to him, maybe we can do business. Thanks for your time, Mr. Blackman. Not at all. Over $150,000. Wow. Yeah, I wonder what kind of a swindle it is. It's probably a... What is a swindle? It's like cheating somebody. Think those two men are criminals? I don't know. Could be. If they are, how come they was with their city treasurer? Don't know that either. But I think we ought to try and find out. How? Why don't you just follow those two guys? I don't know, Alvin. You can see if they do anything suspicious and find out where they're staying. I see. Yeah. I can tail them and find out where the hold up. Right. You better get going. Meet you later at the park. Roger.
Blackburn made arrangements for you. I only rent out the room upstairs. Is that suitable? That'll be fine. Uh, just one moment, if you please. I trust neither of you has any babies. No, Mrs. Huntley, we don't have any babies. Good. Any pets? Pets? My last tenant, a traveling salesman, had a chimpanzee hidden in his trunk. Oh, the curtains in that room are a mess after that animal got through swinging on them. You mean the salesman? I don't think that's funny. <laughs> no, no, ma'am. The only pet I got is a Brahma bull, and I left him tied up down in Texas. <laughs> The rent will be $10 a night. This way. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. The mayor will see you now. May I borrow these? Certainly. Sit down, young man. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. What was your name again? Alvin. Alvin Fernald. Yes. Uh, you must be John Fernald's son, then, huh? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, fine, fine. Your father is doing a fine job as chairman of our uh, anti-litter campaign. <laughs> yes, uh, that is one area that I am proud to say my administration is moving forward in with the uh, utmost urgency. I, I... By the way, you don't... Uh, <laughs> you don't happen to be a, a spy for the opposition party, do you? Oh, no, sir. I guess I should explain why I wanted to see you. I'm in Miss Pinckney's sixth grade class. Oh, we have Miss Pinckney. Now, she is a splendid, splendid teacher, I understand. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, you, you know, it's a very good idea of hers, this uh, essay contest. Yes, sir. And I thought the best place to get some ideas for my essay would be from you, sir. Oh. <laughs> you, 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 you did. I must commend you on your approach to this contest, Alvin. Well, now, how could I be of any possible... I, 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 excuse me, just a moment, Alvin, while I cut off this chatterbox of a machine. What kind of machine is that, sir? Do you use it in city government? Yes, as a matter of fact, we do use it in a way. This is called a teletype machine, Alvin. That's a teletype. That keeps all of us here in City Hall in constant communication with the state capitol. And with the, oh, the various news services and the state police, even the FBI. Wow, that's something else. I never saw one before. Yes, 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 sir. I find it very useful in keeping me abreast of the news. Is that part of being a mayor? Oh, absolutely, most definitely. It is very important. <laughs> uh, Does it help you figure out your platform? Oh, well, of course. It, it, platform? You know about things like that? Yes, sir. We studied it in civics with Miss Pinckney. And yes, it does indeed uh, help me. Now, uh, for example, in my forthcoming campaign, I see it that there are but three signal issues that we have to deal with. <clears throat> uh, first, Although Riverton has one of the highest safety records in the entire state, I'm working for a 100% accident-free uh, traffic record. Uh, secondly, the whole question in the area of more and better uh, playgrounds and parks. Now, for instance, Alvin, the city owns a, a lot at the corner of Maple and Elm that I think would make a most splendid recreational facility. Now, we could use it as a baseball diamond, perhaps, or might install a municipal swimming pool. Uh, is this uh, too much for you, Alvin? Oh, no, sir. This is just right. Yeah. Now, of course, there's also the third point, which is the ever-present problem of lower property taxes. <laughs> As you know, they say that there are only two things that are certain, death and taxes. But I want to assure every single voter of... Hey, Shumi, did you follow me? Yeah, it was easy. They're staying in Miss Hunley's boarding house. I heard her say they could have the room on the second floor. Second floor? Hmm. Hey! Maybe we ought to keep Miss Hunley's house underserved. 
Serve. Oh, what's that word when you want to watch somebody? Surveillance. Yeah, that's it. Think we ought to do it? Guess so. Did they do anything that might have looked suspicious? They kind of walk suspicious. How can anybody walk suspicious? Well, kind of crookedy. And one of them always had his hand in his pocket, probably holding a gun. Should we? Bet you I know how we can keep them under surveillance, even if they are on the second floor. How? Well, wait till it gets dark, and we'll try out one of my new inventions. Which one? My electric sneaky sneaker. Hey, that sounds like a good idea. But this time, it's don't tell Daffy, OK? How come? Well, she'd just get in the way if we'd have to make a quick getaway or something. Daffy can run as fast as we can. But she's still a girl, and girls always go around bugging people, especially Daffy. Daffy kicked four out of five extra points for the Elm Street Tigers, didn't she? Still think we should not tell her. This is a man's job. Guess you're right. OK, Shui, I won't tell her. <laughs> Oh. You all right, Shuey? Yeah. Guess I should have told you better. Just put it up a couple of dates ago. What is it? It's a silent burglar alarm. In case anyone tries to steal my inventions. You have to cock it. Then it works by opening the door. Oh. Spring wasn't all the way back. Only had it set on medium tension. Still works pretty good. Hey, is that part of your electric snaky snooper? Yeah, I've been modifying it so it'll work at Mrs. Hunley's. Come here, I'll show you. It's kind of like a periscope. This is the scanner, and it fits right in here. To make it work, all you gotta do is push this button. And to work the focus, you turn this knob over here. Simple, huh? Hi, Alvin. Hi, Shuey. Oh, hi, Dad. Yeah. Why are you fixing electric snaky snooper? Not fixing it. Not fixing it. Looks like you are. Well, something's got to be broke before you have to fix it. We're just testing it. Why? Boy, Daddy, you sure ask a lot of questions. Can I go with you? I thought you wasn't going to tell her. I didn't. Go where, Daffy? Wherever you and Shuey are taking the sneaky snooper. I told you. We're just testing it. We're not taking it anywhere. Not taking it anywhere. I guess I'll go practice kicking some extra points. might be dangerous. What men? A couple of guys we think are criminals. Criminals? Wow! Shh! You want the whole neighborhood to hear you? What they do? Well, nothing yet. Then how come you know they're criminals? Right now, they're just suspects. Alvin, can I go with you? I could be your lookout. Yeah, she could do that. OK, Daff. Just don't get in the way. I won't get in the way. Let's go. Where to? The two men are up in that room. We're going to case the joint and try and get some clues. This ought to be exciting. Just be quiet and keep your eyes open. Come on. <laughs>
one of them's got a gun. Wow, let me look. You know what I've been thinking? When we get that money, we ought to go on down to Florida. Just lazy around the sun for a couple of weeks, taking it easy. I've never known you to do anything but lazy around, taking it easy. from here. It was. Close enough to see that it was Mr. Blackburn. Who's Mr. Blackburn? He's our city treasurer. He and those other two guys up there are mixed up in some kind of swindle. What's a swindle? It's kind of like cheating somebody. Then don't you think we ought to tell Dad about this, Alvin? I don't think we ought to tell anybody about it yet. Not till we know for sure what they're up to. All we can do right now is to keep watching them till we can find some clues. Yeah. Come on, let's go back and look again. No. We better play it safe for now. He might have seen us. Maybe you're right. We can stake him out all day tomorrow. It's Saturday. Okay. We'll meet at my house. Good. What time? Come on, Daph. We'll talk about it later. Night, Chewie. Night, Alvin. We'll talk about it later. All bet. Who is it? Charlie. There's some kids hanging around outside in the yard. Any idea what they're doing here? We didn't see any kids. You're getting a little jumpy, ain't you? Worry about some little old kids. Yeah, you're the only guy that knows about that deed. You got it buried away in your files. Oh, why sweat it? Oh, we're getting too close. I don't want to take any chances. Not now. The check for the land will be here on Wednesday. Benson, I've told the cashier to make out the check personally to you. You still think the bank will cash your check for 200 grand? Mm-hmm. If I vouch for you, there shouldn't be any problem. Well, then all we have to do is lay around and wait. I don't know what they were doing here. But I still don't like the idea of having those kids snooping around. Look, you take care of your end. If they come around again, we'll take care of those kids. Oh, what's that word, Alvin? Daffy, will you please go away? Come here, Daffy, and let your brother do his work. What is that you're working on, Alvin? It's an essay for civics, Dad. It's going to be for a contest. And the winner gets to be mayor of Riverton for a whole day. Well, no wonder you've been working so hard on it. That sounds interesting, Alvin. What's it about? How to better city government. Oh, could I write an essay on that subject? Now, Helen, just because you don't see eye to eye with the city council. Well, you've got to admit they do some pretty strange things. Is the city treasurer on the council, Dad? Yes. Yes, I think he is. What does the city treasurer really do? Well, he takes care of the uh, city finances. Uh, when the city contracts for a job or buys some land, Charlie sees to it that the right people get paid for it. Oh. Do you know Mr. Blackburn? Oh, we've met a few times at luncheons and things. Is he the one that bought the Miller's place on Mere Street? Mm-hmm. He's only been here a little over a year. Then didn't he get to be city treasurer awful fast? Well, I suppose so, but at the time, Frank Brennan was retiring, and Charlie was the best qualified man for the job. If the members of the city council were as well qualified, we'd have that new library by now. Proceed further. 
I will now proceed further and elaborate on the three signal issues which I feel will make a better city government. Boy, Alvin, you should know a lot of big words. Well, I gotta use big words, Dad, if I'm gonna win that contest. What signal issues mean? It means important things. Oh, you learned that in sixth grade? No, Dad told me. Oh. I'm leaving now to go shopping, and remember, you promised your father you'd mow the lawn today. Oh, yeah. I did forget. Try to get it done before he gets home. Okay, Mom. Mom, don't forget to reset the alarm. Just in the case of burglars should try to break in while you're gone. Chewy? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Forgot again. Lucky it wasn't on full tension. Thanks a lot. Hey, you ready to go stake out those two guys in the zombies? I can't. I gotta mow the lawn. I do it tomorrow. I can't. I promised my dad. You go on. I'll meet you later. I'll go with you, Chewy. No, no you, you won't. won't. What do you do if they capture you? I'll handle it. But you choke up. I would not. Would too. I'll see you there. Try and hurry. Well, but I don't know why I couldn't. Uh oh. What are you thinking about this time, Alvin? I'm trying to figure out how to mow the lawn, finish my essay, and go and meet Chewy all at the same time. Wow. I don't think even a magnificent brain could do that. I got it. Still don't see how it's going to work. Just wait and see. Everything's all set. you too much. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. Working on one of my signal issues. More stop signs. See how this sounds, Staff. And it is very important that we have stop signs at every intersection where kids cross when they go to school. Sounds good, Alvin. Oh, no! Come on, 
Another one of your inventions, Alvin? Yes, sir. Well, after I finish talking to him, you'd better invent a story to tell your father. Yes, sir. What happened? Too much tension on the rope. Oh. here. Didn't figure the right stress factor in one of my inventions. Oh. Did you see those guys? Just for a minute. They left in the car and I couldn't keep up with them on my bike. Well, didn't you get any clues? No. I saw them talking, but they were too far away to hear. That's what we have to do. What? Figure out some way to get close enough to them to hear what they're talking about. Yeah. Hey, let's try bugging them. We could sneak in the room. No, and... we never get past Mrs. Hunley. She'd see us for sure. Think maybe we ought to tell the police? They'd never believe us. Not till we get some proof. Well, then, let's see. What if you both. Come on, Alvin, think something up. I got it. What? A super secret eavesdropper. Hey, sounds great. What's it do? Now, all I gotta do is find a blank frequency on the FM of this radio. Ah. Crime and Italy, Zalvin. You sure are good at thinking. How does it work? Easy, but this is only half of it. Now you take the voice control for my robot. It's a radio microphone. What do I do with it? We test it out. Make sure it works. Go outside and around the corner and say something in it. What'll I say? Doesn't make any difference. Anything. You could have busted my eardrums. Sorry about that. Ready again! The Orioles are gonna win the pennant. The Orioles are gonna win the pennant. The Orioles are gonna win the pennant. What you doing? It's nothing. What's that? You mean this? It's it just works, a... Joey! It works! Oh, hi, Dad. What's that? Oh, you mean this? It's just a new invention we're trying out. That old helmet's for listening, isn't it? No, it's no, not. No, no, it's, it's not. We were... It can't fool me. You're gonna use it to spy on those two men. Daffy, how come you are trying to figure out what we're gonna do? Alvin, can I go with you? I won't get in the way. Cross my heart. <sighs> Will you watch where you're going? Told you we shouldn't let her come. You're the best at climbing, Shuey. Put this microphone as close to the window as you can. What'd you expect from a little jerk water town like this?
I wonder what old man Kerstad would do if he knew how much we were going to clean up on that piece of property he used to own. why we picked it. Alvin, how can we wear those goggles? What? I said, how can we wear those goggles? Uh, it sharpens my perception. Oh. What? Hear anything yet? Radio's playing too loud. If they keep it on, we could be here all night. What do you expect to hear them say? We're just trying to find out their plans. And maybe... Hey, you kids. Come here. Come on out of here where we can see you. Now hurry up and get out of here right now. Come on now. I know you hear me. You're not fooling anybody. Come on, come on. What are you doing up there? You mean us? Who do you think I mean? Come down here and make it quick. We're not doing anything. You heard what the man said. Come on down from there. But we don't want to come down. All right, then. We'll just have to climb up there and get you. Go get him, Rieger. Well, come on down, because there ain't no place for you to go. Come on now, kiddies. You all right, Rieger? Yeah, I'm all, all right. right. Get up. Come on, come on. Get up. All right, get up there. All right, hold still. All right, what are you kids up to? No, 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 no. Hold it, hold it. Now, one at a time. And you with the helmet. Now, right, speak up. And I want the truth. Who is that in my garage? What's going on in there? Oh! Let's beat it! <laughs> Alvin Fernald, I know that's you. What are you and your sister? Help me up. I want to let those kids make a monkey out of me. Oh, my goodness. What in the world has happened to my garage? <gasps> and what on earth are you two grown men doing in my garage in the middle of the night? Now, look, you have to shine that beacon right in my eyes. Well, I wasn't sure who you were at first. You never can tell about peeping toms and such these days. I can see where you'd have to be careful, Miss Hudley. And another thing. That loud radio of yours up there. I might remind you that it is after 8 o'clock, and we try to keep things peaceful and quiet here in Riverton after dark. You might start by keeping them noisy kids away from here. 
Mark my words, I intend to. Lance, sakes, just look at this mess. Listen, what do you think them kids are doing around here anyway? Look, they're kids, and kids play games. We got nothing to worry about from them. What if they tell the police? Tell them what? Can't you get it through your head that they don't know anything? No, no. I still don't like it. Yeah, you're as bad as Charlie. Look, in a couple of days, we'll be out of this lousy town and home free. <laughs> Think so? Never can tell. When I was on the trails, I heard him talking about Mr. Kerstetter, and we hadn't seen him around for a long time. What else they say, Shuey? Said they're gonna clean up on his property. Sounds fishy to me. Still, that doesn't mean they did anything wrong yet. Maybe Mr. Kerstetter moved or something. Maybe. And maybe not. Well, at least we got something to go on now. I sure wish we could have listened longer. Oh, no, we forgot the mic in the window. Let's just leave it. We may use it again. Come on, we better be going. I don't want to get in trouble with Mom and Dad. And I just got a call from Mrs. Hundley, who tells me you two and Shuey have been pestering your tenants and made a mess out of her garage. Now, I want to know what this is all about. Dad, we... Let me tell him, Daffy. Well, you see, Dad, we were just trying out one of my new inventions. The last time you tested out one of your new inventions, you nearly destroyed your mother's flower garden. Not to mention Mr. Haskins' hedge. But that was an accident. Now, then, I want this nonsense to stop. Now, if it doesn't, I'm going to put a padlock on your workshop. But, Dad... No buts, Alvin. Now, is that clear to both of you? Yes, yes sir. And tomorrow, you two go help clean up that garage. Now, I think you both better get upstairs and go to bed. Yes, sir. Because we still don't have any evidence. Then we've got to get some. You heard what Dad said. We can't spy on him anymore. Then what are we going to do? We've got to follow up on our one clue and find out about Mr. Kerstetter's land. How are we going to do that? Well, there's only one way I can think of. To keep records and things like that down at City Hall. Just gotta win that contest and be elected mayor. <laughs> <laughs> 